Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. We need to hear it straight from the daughter's mouths is what we need to listen to. So oh, we have got Irwin's daughter, Mariah McManus, and Dave's oldest daughter, Jody Wanzura. Let's welcome them. Yay. Yes. Good to have you. I want to hear from you girls. For all the men who are listening, I mean, seriously, men, you have got to be listening up right now. I don't what know if I want to hear. do daughters need from dads? Go. Uh, the biggest thing for me, I think, was time. Just like taking his time out of his schedule for me was just like the best thing that he could ever give me. So. And you noticed when he wasn't doing it? Y yes. <laughs> And I make him remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. A little honesty there. Mariah, stay to the answers I gave you. <laughs> He's the best dad in the world. <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love Jody. it. Remember your lines too, then. Okay. <laughs> I think for me, time, obviously, very good. I agree mm -hmm. with that. And beyond that was the, he called himself can, he was the greatest fan. He'd always sign his name, YGF, the greatest fan. And everything I did, he was always saying the encouraging thing. You know, he'd always be like, you can do it. I believe you. When I was younger, it was, don't let the boys beat you. You know, he'd always tell me that. And <laughs> as I got into, into high school, he'd, he'd always be saying, you know, like on the soccer field, number 14's a pylon, run around her, you know. And, <laughs> <laughs> and um, was, that, was that for you or for him? Yeah, no. <laughs> and by chance, you didn't pick up his competitive spirit. Spirit, no, you? no, no, no. <laughs> but really, the, the point is that he was always there encouraging me, and there wasn't anything I didn't think I could do. I always thought there was, I can do this, I can do this. My dad believes in me, he's always encouraging me, and, and that held with me for the rest of my life. Okay, in these relationships, though, because we know we don't always feel close to our kids. Um, I mean, we don't always feel close to anybody in our lives. So, you two, when can you each think of a time when you felt farthest from each other? Um, <laughs> when, when I was in China. Yeah, like when, no, when he's just really far away, I think it's just, that's the hardest. No, we, we were thinking about that earlier. Actually, we're so close. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I'd have to pretend to think of a time where we haven't been close. And we've just really had this incredibly beautiful, intimate relationship. But when I'm traveling a long time, she definitely feels it at a pretty intense level. And there have been times she'll just say, Dad, you just, you just been gone too long. Or Mariah's really brilliant at forcing me to be present in the moment and what happened okay, what does she say like what's her cue to well, you what happened Saturday <laughs> um, we just got back from a really long trip and he was hugging me in the kitchen and I like pushed away and I just told him that he wasn't there that he needed to be there hugging me instead of somewhere else because he likes to go off in his head sometimes <laughs> frequently <laughs> oh, I'm visiting my friends <laughs> <laughs> amazing is these young girls are already being able to determine when men are faking it like they're actually wait, present wait, wait, wait. with you I, I love that <laughs> <laughs> let's be clear for all the men who are watching <laughs> I was there just enough just not enough there right. for her <laughs> I wasn't satisfied okay. So. okay what about you two when did you feel far from each other well, high school was a long time ago, but um, high school, I would describe it as very colorful for us. Um, we both um, don't say sorry, and we both think we're right all the time, and so well, it leads... Well, I am, so that was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it led to many um, collisions and many um, times when we'd sit in a room and neither of us would say anything... Standoffs. Both, well, yeah. We just sit there and like, well, I'm not going to admit it, and he's, like, I'm not going to admit I it. I would and say you have to admit it because you're wrong. You're the daughter, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you have to. That's right. And so that the furthest time was when there was things that I felt that I was mature enough to have the responsibility. He thought, no way, you're in grade 11. There's no way I'm going to give you that responsibility, that freedom. And I said, like, I'm not doing those things. Why can't I go to those places? That was kind right. of the conversation that, but I don't trust those people. Anyway, that was the stand. Do you agree? Yeah, well. Uh, Is that when you felt farthest from her? Yeah, the, the, the farthest, I think, was the one night uh, on the stairs where I, in my mind, caught her doing some things that uh, weren't right or we'd agreed on that she shouldn't or whatever. And I just wanted to admit she did, like most dads want, and that she needed to apologize. And I remember it got so heated between us that my wife, who was standing there, she, she, she grabbed me by the arm. My wife didn't say, Dave, just let it go. Let it go. 
uh, and, and you remember, because I just remember the more I talked to you, the more I felt I was pushing you away. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the funny thing was, we're so much alike, and, uh, and I love you so deeply, but we, we had that, those tense times mm -hmm. over, over issues, right? Mm -hmm. So. And I, okay, would you like to hear when I felt farthest from my dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. No. <laughs> Christy, when were you for this from your dad? And, uh, okay, here's the only reason why I honestly want to tell you is because I just want to let dads know. Again, this is not a guilt thing, but I will never forget the time my dad was supposed to pick me up. Yeah. And I can still tell you the orange chair I was sitting in as I waited out in the window, just waiting and waiting and waiting for that car to come up. Now, you know what? I'm older now. Life happens. I mean, he was dealing with his own things too. But I guess I would love to tell dads that please follow through on just what you say. Um, because as little girls, we are hanging on to those moments yeah. of that we're anticipating yeah. time together. You know what we want you to do? We want you to go to the website because we're gonna give you some tips on how to date your daughter and keep dating her through those years from little girl through the teen years. And uh, we're coming back to talk about how to talk to your daughters about boys and sex and dating and you'll enjoy it, stay with us. <laughs>